Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to detect the three dimensional movement of the device that is X, Y and Z axis of the device using the sensor. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then here you can give the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is sensor demo that is uh, I want to detect the three dimensional movement right so sensor device movement demo then you can choose the language that you want to choose and then you can click on finish first of all once the project building is loading is started I want to discuss what sensor is basically there are three types of sensors are there one is environment sensor that is used to detect the weather report another is the motion sensor that detects the three dimensional position of the device that is x y and z and one more sensor is that that is orientation sensor that you change from landscape to uh, vertical right uh, portrait mode so uh, let me show you what sensor is as per the android uh, developer community says most Android powerful devices have the built-in sensors that measure motion, orientation and various environmental conditions. These sensors are capable of providing the raw data with the high precision and accuracy and are useful if you want to monitor the three-dimensional device movement. I want to do this. That is, I want to detect the three-dimensional device movement or positioning. Right? That is helpful in which, for example, if you are using the game, that might track the reading from the device gravity sensor to infer the complex user gesture uh, when you just uh, rotate your device right so uh, uh, mostly it is used in a game uh, gaming purpose uh, say rotation or swing right so like likewise you can develop the application for the weather also so android device is capable to detect all this kind of sensor so let's develop the application which detects the three dimensional device movement or positioning right so first of all i uh, don't want to change any uh, design over here in my android uh, activity main.xml i want to display x y and z value over here that is in hello world uh, first of all you need to understand that where your sensors are in emulator so here uh, you can click on triple dot there is virtual sensor right uh, like location is there same way virtual sensor is there here x y and z value is there you can rotate your device you can change your device right uh, so you can detect the value of your device right same way uh, you can move also so uh, this is for virtual device suppose if you are using the actual device then no need to do uh, all these things uh, in uh, actual device sensor is already built-in sensors is already there so let me show you how to detect all this very simple whenever you are accessing the sensor you need a sensor manager variable so i'm just getting the get system service and i'm just getting the service that is sensor service and here you can cast it to sensor manager so whenever you cast it to sensor manager your variable will be declared as a sensor manager right now we need a variable to what kind of movement you want right so whenever you want the three dimensional movement of motion image uh, motion of your device you need a type accelerometer list right so i'm just uh, declaring one variable list is equal to sensor manager dot get sensor list here you can pass a sensor dot type accelerometer earlier i given you one example that to how to get the sensor list here you can pass the type all Th that was my earlier example but right now i am using the accelerometer what accelerometer is whenever user use this uh, accelerometer accelerometer is the device that is used to measure the acceleration forces so you need to understand that what acceleration is so acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity of an object respect to the time so once your uh, list is declared now we need a sensor event uh, listener 
and for that I am just declaring one variable se is equal to object colon here you can just call sensor event listener and here you can call it anonymously and you can override the two methods one is on accuracy change another is on sensor change I don't want to do in on accuracy change but definitely I want to access the values x y z whenever my device movement is changed right so that you can get using this variable right now the name of variable is p0 here you can just give the name of your variable that is sensor event now i want what i want a values so i'm just declaring one variable that is values is equal to sensor event dot values once your values is initialized now you can retrieve the value that is x y and z using that values array 0 is x 1 is y and 2 is z so here you can simply get variable x is equal to values question mark dot get index 0 that is your x value then you can just copy paste and here you can change the index 1 money it is y and 2 is that is z once you get the x y and z values now you can bind this value uh, inside your text view so i'm just writing here text view text view that is the id that i need to define in my activity main so i'm just moving to design and here i'm just adding the text view id that is text view once you define the id let me change here text style that is bold text color that is primary dark and the text size that is for example 30 sp and that is fine right now i want to bind this value inside my text view so you simply you can write here text view dot set text and you can set the x y and z value over here so i'm just simply writing here x is equal to dollar x slash n y is equal to dollar y then slash n z is equal to here you can make dollar z once the value is put over here inside your text view uh, you you don't get the value until and unless you register your sensor event listener for that you need to do what sensor manager dot register listener in which you need to pass the your listener that is sensor event listener then you need to pass your type that is a list dot you can pass the get zero so what happened my accelerometer value will be passed over here not only this you need to define the delay also so here simply you can write sensor manager dot then you can pass the sensor delay you can just check there are so many delays are there normal delay fastest delay as per the game delay or delay that is based on the user interface what kind of delay you want normal is the best game delay is useful whenever you are uh, developing any application related to game right and this x y and z uh, values that is majority times that is used in uh, either in location based services or in game based services right so i'm just taking here normal delay whenever you do this now you can execute your application whenever you execute your application you can just check that this is my device and whenever it detects that my device x y and z value will be available over here see x 0 y 9.81 and z is 0, 0.0 you can just change the rotate your device and you can just check see the values of my x y and z will be changed here uh, let me change my uh, let me rotate the mobile C whenever you change your mobile C what happened your X Y Z value is changed right so whenever you cha change your device it detects the X Y and Z position so you can detect that your mobile is right now uh, in which position uh, you can get the X Y and Z position X is horizontal Y is vertical while Z is cross right so you can say that uh, this my mobile is in z position you can say that uh, this is vertical if it is y and horizontal then you can say this is the x position this is the way you can uh, retrieve right 
uh, value that is three dimensional value majority time uh, th that is used to detect the you uh, sensor of mobile you can uh, retrieve this this is the way you can retrieve the x y and z position of your uh, three dimensional position of your device that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all